This is a reading of the Holy Quran, as translated by Malana Muhammad Ali, and read by Tissa Muhammad. This is a 30-day reading of the Holy Quran, broken down into 30 parts. Bismillah, Your Rahman, Your Rahim. Part 26, Surah 46, Al-Akaf, The Sand Hills, Section 1, Truth of Revelation. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Beneficent God, the revelation of the book is from Allah, the Mighty, the Wise. We created not the heavens and the earth and all between them, save with truth and for an appointed term, and those who disbelieve turn away from that whereof they are warned, say, have you considered that which you invoke besides Allah? Show me what they have created of the earth, or have they a share in the heavens? Bring me a book before this of any relics of knowledge, if you are truthful. And who is in greater error than he who invokes besides Allah, such as answer him not till the day of resurrection, and they are heedless of their call? And when men are gathered together, they will be their enemies, and will deny their worshipping them. And when our clear messages are recited to them, those who disbelieve say of the truth when it comes to them, This is clear enchantment. Nay, they say, he has forged it. Say, if I have forged it, you control not for me from Allah. He knows best what you utter concerning it. He is enough as a witness between me and you, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, I am not the first of the messengers, and I know not what will be done with me or with you. I follow not but that which is revealed to me, and I am but a plain warner. Say, see you if it is from Allah, and you disbelieve in it, and a witness from among the children of Israel has borne witness of one like him. So he believed, while you are big with pride. Surely Allah guides not the iniquitous people. Surah 46, Al-Akaf, The Sand Hills, Section 2, Witness of Truth, Ayah 11, and those who disbelieve say of those who believe, If it had been a good, they would not have attained it before us. And as they are not guided thereby, they say, It is an old lie. And before it was the book of Moses, a guide and a mercy. And this is a book verifying it in the Arabic language, that it may warn those who do wrong, and as good news for the doers of good. Surely those who say, Our Lord is a law, then continue on the right way. On them is no fear, nor shall they grieve. These are the owners of the garden abiding therein, a reward for what they did. And we have enjoined on man the doing of good to his parents. His mother bears him with trouble, and she brings him forth in pain, and the bearing of him and the weaning of him is thirty months. Till when he attains his maturity and reaches forty years, he says, My Lord, grant me that I may give thanks for thy favor which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I may do good which pleases thee, and be good to me in respect of my offspring. Truly I turn to thee, and truly I am of those who submit. These are they from whom we accept the best of what they did, and pass by their evil deeds among the owners of the garden, a promise of truth which they were promised. And he who says to his parents, Fire on you! Do you threaten me that I shall be brought forth when generations have passed away before me? And they both call for Allah's aid. Woe to thee! Believe! Surely the promise of Allah is true. But he says, This is nothing but stories of the ancients. These are they against whom the word proves true among nations of the jinn and the men that have passed away before them. Surely they are losers. And for all are degrees according to what they do and that he may pay them for their deeds, and they will not be wronged. And on the day when those who disbelieve are brought before the fire, you did away with your good things in your life of the world, and you enjoyed them. So this day you are rewarded with the chastisement of abasement, because you were unjustly proud in the land, and because you transgressed. Surah 46, Al-Akaf, the Sand Hills, Section 3, The Fate of Ad, Ayah 21. 
and mentioned the brother of Ad when he warned his people in the sandy plains, and warners indeed came before him and after him, saying, Serve none but Allah. Surely I fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day. They said, Hast thou come to us to bring us away from our gods? Then bring us that with which thou threatenest us, if thou art truthful. He said, The knowledge is only with Allah, and I deliver to you that wherewith I am sent. But I see you are an ignorant people. So when they saw it, a cloud advancing towards their valleys, they said, This is a cloud bringing us rain. Nay, it is that which you sought to hasten, a wind wherein is painful chastisement, destroying everything by the command of its Lord. So at dawn, naught could be seen except their dwellings. Thus do we reward the guilty people. And certainly we have given them power in matters in which we have not empowered you. And we had given them ears and eyes and hearts, but neither their ears nor their eyes nor their hearts availed them aught, since they denied the messages of Allah, and that which they mocked at encompassed them. Surah 46, Al-Akhaf, The Sandhills, Section 4, A Warning, Ayah 27. And certainly we destroyed the towns round about you, and we repeat the messages that they may turn. Then why did those whom they took for gods besides Allah to draw them nigh to him not help them? Nay, they failed them. And this was their lie, and what they forged. And when we turned towards thee, a party of the jinn who listened to the Qur'an, so when they were in its presence, they said, Be silent. Then when it was finished, they turned back to their people, warning them. They said, O oh, our people, we have heard a book revealed after Moses, verifying that which is before it, guiding to the truth and to a right path. O oh, our people, accept the inviter to Allah and believe in him. He will forgive you some of your sins and protect you from a painful chastisement. And whoever accepts not the inviter to Allah, he cannot escape in the earth, nor has he protectors besides him. These are in manifest air. See they not that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and was not tired by their creation, is able to give life to the dead? Aye, he is surely possessor of power over all things. And on the day when those who disbelieve are brought before the fire, is it not true? They will say, Yea, by our Lord! He will say, Then taste the chastisement, because you disbelieved. So have patience, as men of resolution. The messengers had patience, and seek not to hasten on for them their doom. On the day when they see that which they are promised, it will be as if they had not tarried save an hour of the day. Thine is to deliver. Shall then any be destroyed, save the transgressing people? Surah 47, Muhammad. Section 1. Opponents will perish in war. In the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Merciful, those who disbelieve and turn men from Allah's way, He will destroy their works. And those who believe and do good and believe in that which has been revealed to Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord, He will remove their evil from them and improve their condition. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood and those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does Allah set forth their descriptions for men. So when you meet in battle, those who disbelieve, smite the next. Then, when you have overcome them, make them prisoners, and afterwards set them free as a favor or for ransom, till the war lay down its burdens. That shall be so. And if Allah please, he would certainly exact retribution from them, but that he may try some of you by means of others. And those who are slain in the way of Allah, he will never allow their deeds to perish. He will guide them and improve their condition and make them enter the garden which he has made known to them. O you who believe, if you help Allah, he will help you and make firm your feet. And those who disbelieve for them is destruction and he will destroy their works. That is because they hate that which Allah reveals so he has rendered their deeds fruitless. Have they not traveled in the land and seen what was the end of those before them? Allah destroyed them. And for the disbelievers is the like thereof. That is because Allah is the patron of those who believe, and because the disbelievers have no patron. Surah 47, Muhammad, 
Section 2. Oppressors shall be brought low. Ayah 12. Surely Allah will make those who believe and do good enter gardens where inflow rivers, and those who disbelieve enjoy themselves and eat as the cattle eat, and the fire is their abode. And how many a town more powerful than thy town which has driven thee out? We destroyed them, so there was no helper for them. Is then he who has a clear argument from his Lord, like him to whom his evil conduct is made fair-seeming, and they follow their low desires? A parable of the garden which the dutiful are promised. Therein are rivers of water not altering for the worse, and rivers of milk whereof the taste changes not, and rivers of wine delicious to the drinkers, and rivers of honey clarified, and for them therein are all fruits and protection from their Lord. Are these like those who abide in the fire and who are made to drink boiling water, so it rends their bowels asunder? And they are those of them who seek to listen to thee, till when they go forth from thee, they say to those who have been given knowledge, What was it that he said just now? These are they whose hearts Allah has sealed, and they follow their low desires. And those who follow guidance, he increases them in guidance and grants them their observance of duty. Wait they for aught but the hour that it should come upon them of a sudden? Now tokens thereof have already come. But how will they have their reminder when it comes on them? So know that there is no God but Allah and ask protection for thy sin and for the believing man and the believing woman. And Allah knows you're moving about and you're staying in a place. Surah 47, Muhammad, Section 3, The Weak-Hearted Ones, Ayah 20, And those who believe say, Why is not a chapter revealed? But when a decisive chapter is revealed, and fighting is mentioned therein, thou seest those in whose hearts is a disease look to thee with the look of one fainting at death. So woe to them, obedience and a gentle word was proper. Then, when the affair is settled, it is better for them, if they remain true to Allah. But if you turn away, you are sure to make mischief in the land and cut off the ties of kinship. Those it is whom Allah has cursed, so he has made them deaf and blinded their eyes. Do they not reflect on the Quran, or are there locks on the hearts? Surely those who turn back after guidance is manifest to them. The devil embellishes it for them and lengthens false hopes for them. That is because they say to those who hate what Allah has revealed, We will obey you in some matters, and Allah knows their secrets. But how will it be when the angels cause them to die, smiting their faces and their backs? That is because they follow that which displeases Allah and are averse to his pleasure. So he makes their deeds fruitless. Surah 47, Muhammad Section 4, An Exhortation, Ayah 29. Or, do those in whose hearts is a disease think that Allah will not bring forth their spite? And if we please, we could show them to thee, so that thou shouldst know them by their marks, and certainly thou canst recognize them by the tone of their speech, and Allah knows your deeds. And certainly we shall try you till... We know those among you who strive hard and the steadfast and manifest your news. Surely those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way and oppose the messenger after guidance is quite clear to them, cannot harm Allah in any way, and he will make their deeds fruitless. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messenger and make not your deeds vain. Surely those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way, then die disbelievers. Allah will not forgive them. And be not slack so as to cry for peace, and you are the uppermost, and Allah is with you, and he will not bring your deeds to naught. The life of this world is but idle sport and play, and if you believe and keep your duty, he will give you your reward, and he does not ask of you your wealth. If he should ask you for it and press you, you will be niggardly, and he will bring forth your malice. Behold, you are those who are called to spend in Allah's way, but... Among you are those who are niggardly, and whoever is niggardly is niggardly against his own soul. And Allah is self-sufficient, and you are needy. And if you turn back, he will bring in your place another people. Then they will not be like you. Surah 48, Al-Fath, the Victory, Section 1 
Hudebaya, truce, was a victory. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, surely we have granted thee a clear victory, that Allah may cover for thee thy alleged shortcomings in the past and those to come, and complete his favor to thee and guide thee on a right path, and that Allah might help thee with a mighty help. He it is who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers, that they might add faith to their faith. And the laws are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and the law is ever knowing, wise. That he may cause the believing man and the believing woman to enter gardens where inflow rivers to abide therein, and remove from them their evil. And that is a grand achievement with the law. And that he may chastise the hypocritical man and the hypocritical woman, and the polytheistic man and the polytheistic woman, the entertainers of evil thoughts about Allah. On them is the evil turn, and Allah is wroth with them, and has cursed them, and prepared hell for them, and evil is a resort. And Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is ever mighty, wise. Surely we have sent thee as a witness, and as a bearer of good news, and as a warner, that you may believe in Allah and his messenger, and may aid him, and revere him, and that you may declare his glory morning and evening. Those who swear allegiance to thee, do but swear allegiance to Allah. The hand of Allah is above their hands. So whoever breaks his faith, he breaks it only to his soul's injury. And whoever fulfills his covenant with Allah, he will grant him a mighty reward. Surah 48, Al-Fath, The Victory. Section 2, The Defaulters, Ayah 11. Those of the dwellers of the desert who lagged behind will say to thee, our property and our families kept us busy, so ask forgiveness for us. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say, then who can control aught for you from Allah if he intends to do you harm, or if he intends to do you good? Nay, Allah is ever aware of what you do. Nay, you thought that the messenger and the believers would never return to their families, and that was made fair-seeming in your hearts, and you thought an evil thought and you are a people doomed to perish. And whoever believes not in Allah and his messenger, then surely we have prepared burning fire for the disbelievers. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he pleases, and chastises whom he pleases. And Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. Those who lagged behind will say, when you set forth to acquire gains, allow us to follow you. They desire to change the word of Allah. Say, You shall not follow us. Thus did Allah say before. And they will say, Nay, you are jealous of us. Nay, they understand not, but a little. Say to those of the dwellers of the desert who lagged behind, You will soon be called against the people of mighty prowess to fight against them until they submit. Then if you obey, Allah will grant you a good reward. But if you turn back as you turned back before, he will chastise you with a painful chastisement. There is no blame on the blind, nor is there blame on the lame, nor is there blame on the sick. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will cause him to enter gardens where inflow rivers, and whoever turns back, he will chastise him with a painful chastisement. Surah 48, Al-Fath, The Victory, Section 3, More Victories for Islam, Ayah 18. Allah indeed was well pleased with the believers when they swore allegiance to thee under the tree, and he knew what was in their hearts, so he sent down tranquility on them and rewarded them with a clear victory and many gains which they will acquire, and Allah is ever mighty, wise. Allah promised you many gains which you will acquire, then he hastened this on for you and held back the hands of men from you, and that it may be a sign for the believers, and that he may guide you on a right path, and others which you have not yet been able to achieve. Allah has surely encompassed them, and Allah is ever powerful over all things. And if those who disbelieve fight with you, they will certainly turn their backs, then they will find no protector nor helper. Such has been the course of Allah that has run before, and thou wilt not find a change in Allah's course. And he it is who held back their hands from you, and your hands from them in the valley of Makkah, after he had given you victory over them, and Allah is ever seer of what you do. 
It is they who disbelieved and debarred you from the sacred mosque, and the offering withheld from reaching its goal. And were it not for the believing men and the believing women, whom, not having known, you might have trodden down, and thus something hateful might have afflicted you on their account without knowledge, so that Allah may admit to his mercy whom he pleases, had they been apart, we would surely have chastised those who disbelieved from among them with a painful chastisement. When those who disbelieved harbored disdain in their hearts and disdain of ignorance, but Allah sent down his tranquility on his messenger and on the believers and made them keep the word of observance of duty, and they were entitled to it and worthy of it, and Allah is ever knower of all things. Surah 48, Al-Fath, The Victory, Section 4, Ultimate Triumph of Islam, Ayat 27. Allah indeed fulfilled the vision for his messenger with truth. You shall certainly enter the sacred mosque, if Allah please, in security, your heads shaved and hair cut short, not fearing. But he knows what you know not, so he has ordained a near victory before that. He it is who has sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, that he may make it prevail over all religions. And Allah is enough for a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are firm of heart against the disbelievers, compassionate among themselves. Thou seest them bowing down, prostrating themselves, seeking Allah's grace and pleasure. Their marks are on their faces in consequence of prostration. That is their description in the Torah and the description in the gospel, like seed produce that puts forth its sprout, then strengthens it so it becomes stout and stands firmly on its stem, delighting the sowers that he may enrage the disbelievers on account of them. Allah has promised such of them as believe and do good forgiveness and a great reward. Sur 49, Al-Hujurat, The Apartments, Section 1, Respect for the Prophet, In the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Merciful. O you who believe, be not forward in the presence of Allah and his messenger, and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is hearing, knowing. O you who believe, raise not your voices above the Prophet's voice, nor speak loudly to him, as you speak loudly one to another, lest your deeds become null, while you perceive not. Surely those who lower their voices before Allah's messenger are they whose hearts Allah has proved for dutifulness. For them is forgiveness and a great reward. Those who call out to thee from behind the private apartments, most of them have no sense. And if they had patience till thou come out to them, it would be better for them. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, if an unrighteous man brings you news, look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance, then be sorry for what you did. And... Know that among you is Allah's messenger. Were he to obey you in many a matter, you would surely fall into distress. But Allah has endeared the faith to you and has made it seemly in your hearts. And he has made hateful to you disbelief and transgression and disobedience. Such are those who are rightly guided, a grace from Allah and a favor. And Allah is knowing wise. And if two parties of the believers quarrel, make peace between them. Then if one of them does wrong to the other, fight that which does wrong till it return to Allah's command. Then if it returns, make peace between them with justice and act equitably. Surely Allah loves the equitable. The believers are brethren, so make peace between your brethren and keep your duty to Allah that mercy may be had on you. Surah 49, Al-Hujrat the Apartments, Section 2, Respect for Muslim Brotherhood, Ayah 11. O you who believe, let not people laugh at people, perchance they may be better than they, nor let women laugh at women, perchance they may be better than they. Neither find fault with your own people, nor call one another by nicknames. Evil is a bad name after faith, and whoso turns not, these it is that are iniquitous. O you who believe, avoid most of suspicion. For surely suspicion in some cases is sin, and spy not, nor let some of you backbite others. Does one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You abhor it, and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is oft returning to mercy, merciful. O mankind, surely we have created you from a male and a female, and made you tribes and families that you may know each other. Surely the noblest of you with Allah is the most dutiful of you. Surely Allah is knowing, aware. 
the dwellers of the desert say, We believe. Say, You believe not, but say, We submit, and faith has not yet entered into your hearts. And if you obey Allah and His Messenger, He will not diminish aught of your deeds. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. The believers are those only who believe in Allah and His Messenger. Then they doubt not and struggle hard with their wealth and their lives in the way of Allah. Such are the truthful ones. Say, Would you apprise Allah of your religion? And Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And Allah is knower of all things. They presume to lay thee under an obligation by becoming Muslims. Say, Lay me not under an obligation by your Islam. Rather, Allah lays you under an obligation by guiding you to the faith if you are truthful. Surely Allah knows the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is seer of what you do. Surah 50, Kaf, Section 1, The Resurrection In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Almighty God, by the glorious Qur'an, nay, they wonder that a warner has come to them from among themselves, so the disbelievers say, This is a wonderful thing. When we die and become dust, that is a far return. We know indeed what the earth diminishes of them, and with us is a book that preserves. Nay, they reject the truth when it comes to them, so they are in a state of confusion. Do they not look at the sky above them? How we have made it and adorned it, and it has no gaps, and the earth. We have spread it out and cast therein mountains, and we have made to grow therein of every beautiful kind, to give sight, and as a reminder to every servant who turns to Allah. And we send down from the clouds water abounding in good. Then we cause to grow thereby gardens, and the grain that is reaped, and the tall palm trees have flower spikes piled one above another, a sustenance for the servants, and we give life thereby to a dead land. Thus is the rising. Before them the people of Noah rejected the truth, and so did the dwellers of al Ras and Thamud, and Adan, Pharaoh, and Lot's brethren, and the dwellers of the grove, and the people of Tuba. They all rejected the messengers, so my threat came to pass. Were we then fatigued with the first creation? Yet they are in doubt about a new creation. Surah 50, Kaf, Section 2, The Resurrection, Ayah 16. And certainly we created man, and we know what his mind suggests to him, and we are nearer to him than his life vain. When the two receivers receive, sitting on the right and on the left, he utters not a word, but there is by him a watcher at hand. And the stupor of death comes in truth, that is what thou wouldst shun, and the trumpet is blown. That is the day of threatening, and every soul comes with it, a driver and a witness. Thou wast indeed heedless of this, but now we have removed from thee thy veil, so thy sight is sharp this day. And his companion will say, This is what is ready with me. Cast into hell every ungrateful, rebellious one, forbidder of good, exceeder of limits, doubter, who sets up another god with Allah, so cast him into severe chastisement. His companion will say, Our Lord, I did not cause him to rebel, but he himself went far in air. He will say, Dispute not in my presence, and indeed I gave you warning beforehand. My sentence cannot be changed, nor am I in the least unjust to the servants. Surah 50, Kaf, Section 3, The Resurrection, Ayah 30 On the day when we say to hell, Art thou filled up? And it will say, are there any more? And the garden is brought near for those who guard against evil. It is not distant. This is what you are promised for everyone turning to Allah, keeping the limits, who fears the beneficent and secret, and comes with a penitent heart. Enter it in peace. That is the day of abiding. For them therein is all they wish, and with us is yet more. And how many a generation we destroyed before them who were mightier in prowess than they! So they went about in the lands. Is there a place of refuge? Surely there is a reminder in this for him who has a heart, or he gives ear and is a witness. And certainly we created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six periods, and no fatigue touched us. 
So bear with what they say, and celebrate the praise of thy Lord before the rising of the sun and before the setting, and glorify him in the night and after prostration, and listen on the day when the choir cries from a near place, the day when they hear the cry. In truth, that is the day of coming forth, and surely we give life and cause to die, and to us is the eventual coming, the day when the earth cleaves asunder from them, hastening forth. That is a gathering easy to us. We know best what they say, and thou art not one to compel them. So remind by means of the Quran him who fears my threat. Surah 51, al Dhariyat, The Scatterers, Section 1. Falsehood is doomed. In the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Merciful, by those scattering broadcast and those bearing the load and those running easily and those distributing the affair, what you are promised is surely true and the judgment will surely come to pass. By the heaven full of paths, surely you are of varying opinion. He is turned away from it who would be turned away. Cursed be the liars who are in an abyss, neglectful. They say, when is the day of judgment? It is the day when they are tried at the fire. Taste your persecution. This is what you would hasten on. Surely the dutiful are amidst gardens and fountains, taking that which their Lord gives them. Surely they were before that the doers of good. They used to sleep but little at night, and in the morning they asked divine protection. And in their wealth there was a due share for the beggar and for one who is denied good. And in the earth are signs for those who are sure, and in yourselves... Do you not see, and in the heavens is your sustenance, and that which you are promised? So by the Lord of the heavens and the earth, it is surely the truth, just as you speak. Surah 51, al dhariyat The Scatterers Section 2 The Fate of Previous Nations, Ayah 24 Has the story of Abraham's honored guests reached thee? When they came to him, they said, Peace, peace, said he, strangers, then he turned aside to his family and brought a fat calf. So he placed it before them. He said, Will you not eat? So he conceived a fear of them. They said, Fear not. And they gave him the good news of a boy possessing knowledge. Then his wife came up in grief, and she smote her face and said, A barren old woman. They said, Thus says thy Lord. Surely he is the wise, the knowing. This is the conclusion of part 26, Jews 26 of the Holy Quran.